Hello, and welcome to another fun-filled Sunday. Fuck off, asshole! Leave me alone! Don't you know it's fucking Sunday? What we're going to do today is we're once again going to queue up machine and in very short order we're going to join or rejoin rather our composition in progress which this time is a new theme song you know it's a new day it's a new era and we're in search of new sounds for a new theme song and i have some ideas that i'm executing on right now i'm literally just picking up right where i left off in the last episode i'm going to use machine again i'm going to use more natural organic drum sounds this time i'm going to try to pull up i, th I think i can pull up modern and massive i'd like to actually kind of see how that works within machine if possible and match that up against the beat that i did last time and actually just use it as another layer on top of that essentially duplicating the same beat if if possible so i'm once again gonna load up uh kit and let's see uh, i think we can go ahead and designate okay it's not going to be kit then actually let's see about instruments maybe i saw it there Okay, here we go. GGD, modern and massive, and I'm pretty sure the other one is on here as well. Uh, what what is that called? Uh, it's also my library. Uh, name escapes me. Invasion. So both of these are on here, and really we can try it. But modern and massive is kind of I think really what I'm going to be going for. Maybe a slightly distorted sound. Who knows? We'll see. But I want to load it up inside of massive and see what the deal is. So um, let's. Well, first off, let's make sure I did that right. All instruments, modern and massive. Here we go. Yeah, no, big mono, dry and natural, lead samurai. It's one of my favorites. It's just loading it up. And, uh,. We'll just give it a moment because it has to go ahead and load all of the samples uh, from the kit, essentially. So, um, again, what I want to do is I want to essentially see if I can duplicate the same pattern as last time on top of um, the beat that we already have. So that'll kind of kick back in here at around the five, uh, you know, whatever, five, five minute, 30 mark. Um, and the, the goal of this, uh, composition, uh, just to talk about some of my ideas is going to be to hear what layered drums, um, you know, particularly some, you know, kind of like electronic drums with acoustic drums and kind of clean to start with. I'm going for somewhat clean sounds and then I might dirty them up later. We'll see, you know, possibly. But I think for the moment, we'll start with clean sounds and then um, also adding in, uh, you know, some of the synth sounds that we've really been exploring over the last hundred episodes or so, as well as, um, you know, some guitar sounds. And that's what I think will be really awesome is to load in uh, actually using, you know, guitar rig, uh, possibly doing some videos of my amplifier, re just recording some regular amplifier guitar, uh, different guitars using some of the different guitars that I have. Um, and that'll be really awesome. So let's go into, uh, let's see if we can go into pad mode here and
let's see. I don't think we're quite ready for you yet. So let's drag these friends on out here to about the uh, 10 minute 30 mark. Just give us some room to uh, see what we can figure out here. Um, so that's definitely going to be playing a loop. Let's see what this group looks like. Just opening up the mixer. And, okay. So what's the deal with the pad mode then? Ah, I just have it loaded as an instrument. So it's like it's not really loaded as a uh, kit that I can map out, it looks like. So we may have to use uh, a different kit other than modern and massive. Um, and that's fine. Uh, but essentially what I'm looking for is from a kit's standpoint is an acoustic sounding kit and it looks like we have you know some 70s abbey road kits and this is probably exactly kind of what i'm going for with that lead samurai kit so let's open the browser and actually go through these and hear what these sound like here I mean, all these are not bad, but I th I'm going for something really uh, big, but somewhat tight, but somewhat big as well. So let me see. I know we're going to probably be in the 70s, so let's see what these sound like. All right, let's press that button and load it up. And it's just gonna load up these samples and then we can start. So let's go through some of these other ones. Yeah, like studios, like, yeah, I mean, let's not limit ourselves to just those. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, oh, nice. I was just seeing how I could explore the different... Uh, settings here using the toggle if I want to, but I actually wanted to go in the browser, so let's go back to the browser. not a bad one. Pop Kit's an old favorite. I've used that one a lot. All these great sounding kits. And 
I think we're going to need any uh, hi-hats anyway. So let's get this set up. Need a little bit more time, friends. Let's go. Let's try minute 13 and almost minute 14. All right, cool. And then what we want to do is essentially, essentially... We want to uh, first go ahead and route our sounds and get levels checked. So let's go ahead and get... Looks pretty good. We're not going to use either of these, but we'll go ahead and route them anyway. And then that's five. That's going to be six. We're not going to use that anyway. Seven and eight. We're not using most of these. So actually what we want is the toms. Yeah, that's what we want. We don't want these other ones. So let's get... If we're not going to use it, let's not assign it. So let's get it back on the group. We're not going to use that. Not going to use that. I'm not going to use that kick either. So there, I've opened up four of them. There's a lot of toms down here I want to make use of, possibly. So um, that's... Yeah, basically all these. So let's go... Five. Six. Seven. And eight. All right, that's probably um, a little low, so let's check levels. And then um, let's make sure we're capturing everything where we need. Little bit more time is needed, so <laughs> this is always a reminder <laughs> that we're rolling. We're waiting to kind of do some stuff here. Uh, but let me, I just want to make sure we get all of our levels uh, in a decent position so that we're recording good audio. So, um, yeah, I mean, that, that, that kick is kicking.
of spread those across the stereo spectrum a little bit. That's kind of nice. So what we're going to do is we're going to get ready to record. And I don't know about all that room tone. So let's see how, if at all, not really a way to... Just don't hit it at 127. That's that's what it is. Don't pound it. That's what it is. That's what the deal is. And that's fine with me. I mean, I'm just trying to capture kind of an acoustic sounding kit. So let's see about... Um, first off, where we are in relation to our, I think I gave myself some time here. Okay, cool. And so, um, I think that we're capturing some good audio now. cool yeah we're definitely good there so um what i want to see about doing now is seeing if we can essentially just copy the pattern over because that's the that's really what i want to do is have a pattern similar to this but on this on this new kit you know what i mean so um let's see about just going try alt hold and drag maybe yeah there it is So first off, those uh, four on the floor kicks got to go. And we'll have to sync that up. So let's give ourselves a little bit more runway here. Another minute or so. Just to nail this down. I think we're pretty close. And these can go. Oh, no, we're a little bit farther out than we... Okay. We still got a little bit of work to do. Another little bit of runway here. 